fantastic. Um, the kids here, you know, not only are they phenomenal athletes, but they're phenomenal kids. And uh, I honestly, I, I, I couldn't have had a better experience in these first few months. Um, it's, it's really fun because Chris Partridge and I uh, know each other <laughs> from way back, you know, with high school together. Uh, ben McDaniels and I uh, worked together at Rutgers before. So it's just been a lot of fun seeing some old friends and uh, meeting some new people and everybody's been great here. How much did you know about Michigan and how much did you know about Harbaugh? A whole lot. I mean, I was a football maniac when I was a little kid, you know, come from a football family. So, uh, you know, Michigan, I think everybody grows up pretending they're playing at Michigan in their backyard when they're a little kid. Um, I know I did. Everybody, everybody in our house did. So um, certainly very familiar with, you know, the things that are important here, the history here, um, and certainly Coach Harbaugh, you know, the opportunity to coach for him and be around him. Um, I'd be lying to you if I told you that that wasn't a huge part of why I wanted to be here. Um, getting to meet him uh, when I interviewed, I felt really, really comfortable because I felt we were very like-minded. You know, I think he loves his players, uh, loves his family. Those things are important to me. They're important to him. And uh, that's the type of place I want to be. So, Were you surprised when you first got that phone call? Um, I, 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 that's, a, that's a great question. Um, surprised? I don't know. I was very excited. I was, you know, fired up uh, for the opportunity to come out here and see everything. And you know, obviously, you you heard you hear a ton about Michigan all through your, your life growing up. If you're a football fan, um, and then having some friends here, you know, I probably had some knowledge of the inner workings and how many great people were here. Um, and so, yeah, excited is really the word I would use more than anything. Definitely. Was it difficult at all leaving the East Coast? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really difficult. More so leaving um, guys that you love coaching. You know, I think anytime you move and coaching, it's hard. Um, I think, you know, I think if it isn't hard when you leave coaching, you're probably in the wrong business. Um, you know, I've, I've been really fortunate uh, to coach a lot of kids who, you know, are, I love like family. You know, my children feel that way about them. Uh, my wife feels that way about them. Uh, so that's, that's the hardest part. Leaving the East Coast, um, leaving some of the pizza, that's hard for me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, it, everything's been great here. You know, that, that's it. You know, I got family there and they'll get out here and check out games. So, yeah, not, not all that hard. Just, uh, you know, moving on and, and not getting the opportunity to coach your players anymore. That's always hard. How much flexibility does Don give you, Brown? Um, Don, the, I, I kind of said this to a couple people. The amazing thing about Coach Brown is um, he has – like no ego. He's really um, somebody who takes it all in in the room, um, takes an input, you know, asks guys their opinion, their questions. Um, and he's just, he's got an awesome mentality. He's got an awesome personality. Um, I think that's why players gravitate to him. I think that's why guys like coaching with him. Um, he's really just a, a great dude. He's a great human being. He's an uh, awesome guy to be around because he's intense. He's got a ton of energy, a ton of knowledge. Um, he's he is a great guy. I've really, really enjoyed being around him, and hopefully, I answered your question well enough. But um, yeah, I think everybody has an input in the room, and, and um, you know, at the end of the day, when Coach Brown makes a decision of what we're going to do, we're going to go do it a thousand miles an hour. Well, you East Coast guys are sort of taking over the defense. So. I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah. And uh, there, there's, there's definitely. Uh, Definitely a, a, an East Coast mentality there, I guess you could say. I don't know. Um, there's a bunch of us in there, so that's been cool. A lot of like-minded personalities, for sure. Is there an East Coast mentality? I mean, it's not like there's a, it's a hotbed for college football. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's uh, not the right way to say it. I don't know. But Coach Brown is uh, an aggressive personality. Uh, I feel that way. You know, I'm, I'm an aggressive personality. I coach that way. He coaches that way. Uh, Coach Zordich coaches that way. Chris Portridge coaches that way. Sean Noah coaches that way. So I think Coach Brown and Coach Harbaugh um, have made it a point to you know, bring people in who have a um, similar mindset when it comes to coaching. Love your players. Um, be a great teammate in the room with the staff. And uh, go coach with your hair on fire when we get out in between the lines. You, know, so. you have been listening to Don a lot, right? Without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, I think that's... That's like you said, you asked earlier, somebody asked earlier, you know, what's my experience been like? I feel like I'm home. You know, everybody's uh, like the people I grew up with. You know, they're tough guys. They love their players and great people. I mean, it's, you can't ask for a better situation. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. So. Sure.